rejoicing. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on freedom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is a place between the gospel and the hymn, a place of testimony, testament. In the church, the black church, before the singing has begun, the musician will play, the sounds will rumble and swell, and in this space, of preparation and possibility, the saints will summon God. So by the time you open your mouth, you in the choir, you in the pew, the space is filled. And in this place where blessings flow, where feet can stomp and hands can dance and bodies witness, here I reside, a witness on the edge, feet dangling from the verge of a pew, unable to meet the floor with this grounded understanding of how the song is sung, how it is belched like fire from the belly, how it is raptured in the air, how it is felt in the bones before it touches the ears. And my soul tries to cry hallelujah, but I am shy and young, Though there is a fire shut up in my bones, I do not want to embarrass myself. This is a political act, a kind of resistance to make distinctions between my soul's rejoicing and my body's comportment. This is the first sin, the first neglect of self. In this way, I began the lifelong process of swallowing, of allowing myself to look outward in and say, what will they? So I learned to shrink, to fold myself in half, in half, in half, in half, in half, in half. In half and have little for myself. Yet within that tight and darkened space where blessings are sung in silence, I worshiped. And when asked by Deacon Alexander, what song you got on your heart today, brother? I deflect, you know I got a song on my heart, but what song you got on yours? Sure enough, he'd answer. And I would leave him empty though he would leave me filled. And he never sang all that well, but he knew how to rejoice. He knew his testimony. He'd often shout, hallelujah. I never let out one hallelujah. And now, because of this, when I worship, it is mostly in silence. When I suffer, it is mostly in silence. Yet in this silence, I can hear the chorus of hallelujahs I am unfolding. In this narrow silence, there is still a song. Yes, Lord, there is still a rejoicing. Thank you.